You guys may have seen the video where I integrated this 16 kilowatt hour DIY battery into my pack, but I'm going to show you now what happens when you integrate a battery in that isn't completely balanced with the rest of your battery pack. And it's advised to be right around 0.5 volts difference between the battery you're integrating and the other battery. So at least that. You don't want to be too much further than that. But I'm going to show you an extreme case of what happens if you do try to integrate it and it is quite a bit further away on the voltage. You could potentially damage something. So if you have a really large surge and there's a large spread in between, what happens is the amperage from this battery is going to dump into the rest of my battery pack. And pretty quickly, the further the voltage spread, the more rapid or the greater the amperage that goes out of this battery into the other, or vice versa. If this was lower than the other one, lower voltage, then the batteries, all of my rest of my battery packs would dump into this. You could kind of look at it as water. It's going to seek its own level. So we'll see what happens here because uh, I have quite a bit of spread between the two. I forgot to mention, this is essentially a lesson on what not to do. I break things so you don't have to. <laughs> all right, so one of my wall mount batteries is, so this should be, all of my packs are going to be right around 53.5. And let's see what the new battery is as far as voltage. So you can see it on the upper right, 53.5 volts. And voltage is what matters. I've talked about this before, but when you're trying to integrate a battery into another battery bank, then you want to be somewhere close on voltage. And this is 55 volts. So my house bank is right around 53.5. This is 55.7. So when I hook this up, if I flip the breaker, there's going to be a lot of amperage probably flowing out of this battery into the other bank when I do that. We'll see what happens here. Here we go. We'll flip the breaker and see how much current we see flowing out of this battery and if it can take it. Probably end up blowing that T-class fuse, right? I don't imagine it'd be over 200 amps. Let's see. 235, 182. So no, we didn't get up to 300 amps, fortunately. <laughs> we had 235, which this BMS can surge up to. And now it'll equal out. So you can see we're at 54 volts. And the amperage is slowly dropping as it's going to balance out with the rest of the pack. And you'll see in another 10 minutes or so, as you watch this pack, it's going to end up evening out right with the other battery bank. And tomorrow, if everything reaches 57 volts, then they'll all be exactly together, the entire battery bank that I have. Rack batteries, DIY batteries, this battery bank, everything.